So, dual A-arm front suspension, A-arms are a little longer to get a uh, whopping 13 and a half inches of travel up front. Next, we got the shocks. Fox Body Max 2.0 is all the way around, all four corners. Aluminum bodies, piggyback reservoirs, uh, compression adjust, spring preloads. Spring, uh, the springs all the way around are dual rates, front and rear. The fronts have a single spring that takes care of that dual rate. On the rear, we've got the two springs. we got the dual rates for the uh, lighter spring rate for the initial ride-in and the stiffer spring for handling and bottoming resistance. Spherical's top and bottom, and in the rear shocks, we went to the larger M12 bolts this year to keep everything together. Now what you guys really want to hear about you. This new, cool, three-link, trailing arm, long travel IRS. We got 14 inches of travel back here. You might ask why we did the three-link trailing arm versus the conventional control arm that uh, most other side-by-sides have. A couple of reasons. Strength and packaging for performance. First on the strength, we got all our forces in tension and compression. As you're driving, the trailing arm takes all the forces going forward. We got three-quarter inch radius rods back here that handle all the lateral loads side to side as you're going through the corners. We've got spherical bearings at all the joints. No bushings that are going to be wearing out. <coughs> Packaging for performance. We've got long radius rods back here. We do that so that we can keep the pivot points in narrow, get the optimized geometry, help out with our half shaft angles. You know, if we would have had control arms, we would have had to widen out the frame, get the pivot points much further out than what we've got now. So with that optimized geometry, we got a couple of things in mind there. We've got constrained optimization. What we're looking at is 64 inches wide, 4.5 inch longer wheelbase. We talked about the 14 inches of travel here. That constrained optimization gives us a couple of things. We do have uh, optimized, minimized and optimized uh, scrub control as we go through travel. You know, some of our competitors might brag about having zero scrub as they go through travel. That works fine going in a straight line. You know, we're going to let you guys get your money's worth today. Instead of having you guys drive up and down the, the road coming in here, we got some trails picked out that actually have a couple of turns in them. So we're going to kind of step you through the benefits of what our suspension will do for you that others won't. As this thing goes through travel, obviously we get a little camber, uh, controlled camber optimization here so that when you go into the corners, we get the tires keeping the contact patch of the tire on the ground, keep the traction to the ground. <coughs> you know, if you're going through a straight line, everything soaks it up just fine, this thing is going to also corner on rails. So we help keep that tire on the ground, put the traction to the ground so you can come into the corners harder, go through the corners harder, and come out quicker. <coughs> now, a couple other things that we get is we already talked about the long uh, radius rods and get the, <coughs> excuse me, a wider uh, stance as we go through travel. That also helps get a slightly wider track width that will improve stability even more yet. <coughs> Finally, we've got our torsion bar up front here that helps keep the, the vehicle even flatter as you're going through the corner. And again, improves stability as we get through all the travel. So we've got this cool new suspension. And what does that really mean for the customers? At the end of the day, it's all about extreme performance. You know, the customers, we get the big travel. In the straight line, we're soaking up the bumps like no other. We've got the cornering, the handling, everything else that makes it fun driving out here on the trails. And finally, no compromise. We do not cut any corners on this suspension. You guys will believe it when you ride it today, but it it really handles extremely well in these type of, this type of conditions. So with that, real brief overview on the suspension, I'm going to turn it over to Aaron to step through the agility side of things.